Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jumpoochie Jams, the game that is based off of the hit Shonen Jump uh, Gotcha Jumpoochie Jams. Two different names, two different Jump ways of spelling Heroes. it. <laughs> also. Oh yeah, you're right. Damn it! I think the, <laughs> our our title is so good that I I keep thinking that's the you name of the actual. You just want to give it gotcha. to the game, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's a very listen. If they ever do a global version, <laughs> they can bring it over here as Jumpoochie Jams. <laughs> It's very rare for us to actually get a name right uh, for yeah, the first the, the time. Yeah, the name is finally good. Yeah. <laughs> Not since Shuttered or Smorgasbord have we <laughs> made such a fantastic name. Ah, oh, that was a great name. It was a great name for a fantastic game that is no longer with us, but you know what is with us, Jumpucci Heroes. And there's a lot to talk about. There's so much to talk about. It's uh, Yeah, there's a lot to talk about. Yeah. So let's let's see where we want to start off with. Before we actually get into the units... We should actually talk about what's happening in the game because it's the 19 million download celebration, which is like a three-part celebration because inside the 19 million downloads, it's a part one, the Rivals celebration, part two, the Christmas celebration, and then part three, the New Year celebration. And we know what part one and part two is, but we have no idea what part three is. We can probably guess if we look at the... Um, uh, the timeline? That's not what it's called. What is it called? The the roadmap? Uh, the roadmap, yeah. Yeah, if we look at the roadmap, um, we would probably be able to see what's up, but we're not going to be doing that. So we'll just do blind speculation on our parts. Man, some of the shit here for the uh, 19 million is really good. So first of all, the, the number one best thing is that there is a, a Jumpudi selection ticket. They let you pick between eight units, and all eight units are fucking amazing. Yeah, can you use that ticket yet, or is it still one of those ones no, you gotta wait? Not, not till Saturday. It's really it actually. I don't made know me... why they do that. It stresses me out because I'm like, shit, did I get it? Do I not have it? I don't know. Yeah, I'm exactly the same as you. If you give me a ticket, I want to use it right now. Otherwise, yeah, I don't want to wait for even a second. Yeah, and it's such a weird time too. It's like, oh, use it Saturday. Why? Why are we waiting? <laughs> and four you days? can use the other ones. Already. You can, and the other one give you a limited. Yeah, I got. Who did you get from yours? Oh, dude, that's so depressing. I got uh, Ace and Luffy, the only one. Uh, oh no, <laughs> that's I a was... good get if it wasn't a dupe though. Yeah, thankfully they were. Uh... I, I I had the good wherewithal once I started getting a lot of dupes in my tickets that I was like, I'm going to leave them at ten, a ten, 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 so that when I do pull a dupe, I won't feel depressed. And I was right because now they're oh, eleven, good call. 11, 11. Yeah. Because that would suck if you had him at 12. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, what am I doing? I'm just here for the luck. I may as well yeah, just sell Yeah, just raising the luck. <laughs> so sad. Uh, I got Yurichi. Yeah. I'm going to sing The only now. adult in Demon Slayer. I did already have him, yeah. But his passive is good, and I didn't have any gems in him. So I'll take the plus one. All right. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, so they have that ticket, which will give you a random limited and then some... I think it's all SSRs afterwards, right? So it's something crazy like that. Uh, yeah, it's a it's all five stars, but the first one is a limited. Got you. And then there's like another ticket where you get like two, um, you get like two two SSRs at six star, I believe is what it is. Yeah, you get two. It, they're completely random. Um, yeah, yeah. But you get both of them at six star, six six six, uh, max level. And fun fact, both of mine were dupes as well. My, mine was the Gohan. I remember because I was like, don't I already have you 666? Didn't I specifically pull you for potentially having you 666? And I said, yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I was very sad about that. But thankfully, on the actual selection ticket, we've got uh, Dio, the limited Dio, um, Naruto Sasuke, the Volleyball Boys, Ace and Luffy, Giarno, and... Uh, the two demon slayer boys i cannot remember the names at the moment why am i uh this is the problem with me being so tired what is the g gyo gyo uh, to the demon slayer water boy that's gyo yeah yeah gyo tomioka gyo to, you didn't you just said his last name and it completely made me forget what i was gonna, gonna say next. <laughs> it's like is that was his last name the entire time <laughs> i was reading demon slayer i had no idea uh and the other one is everyone's favorite boy from the movie Rengoku and then there's also the adult ice boy from Bleach who Toshiro. is named 
Toshiro, yes. You know his name. I don't. I have an excuse for that one. I have Red Bleach. And all these dudes are insanely good <laughs> for various reasons. Yes. Th- this feels very much like a... We're doing this vote for PvP. <laughs> because every single one of these units are like PvP meta, except for Rengoku, but he's yeah. decent. I also f- I feel like, from what I've seen on the Japanese side, that they really like him for everything. And in general, it seems like the opinion on Rengoku is very high. People just like him. Yeah, not not even yeah. just in this game. Just like I don't, I don't know how much. Uh, how it might be a half of like Rengoku is super well loved, and then also well, his he unit is he won good. some kind of voting. I don't know what the vote was for. Apparently, but the, he won some sort of like the number one anime character of the year or something. Was him really? Yeah, he beat Gojo, who got second place. Oh, that must have made you so. Is there an episode? I was a little salty. I was a little salty. Is there an episode of Shonen and No Chill where you were just complaining <laughs> to Yosiannis the entire time about the? I was a little salty. I was a little salty. So you should. But yeah, it's all right. You know, are you, I don't know if you guys are planning this, and probably I shouldn't include this in this recording. You guys gonna do an end of the year like awards ceremony, like most raw panel of the year? <laughs> you, you're your nominees, and we're picking them right now between the two of us and no one else <laughs> I, would, I would do that <laughs> yeah. it would be pretty fun to come up with the categories for sure anime character of the year that's crazy congrats to Rangoku on that one uh, I don't know who I'm going to end up picking from this one I assume you have every single one of these dudes right uh, I do yeah I think I, I, I basically have to pick who I want the dupe for um, mm-hmm. I already have the Volleyball Boys and Giyu and Toshiro maxed out. I think I'm going to get a dupe of either um, Ace and Luffy, since they're my leader, or of Giorno. Mm. I'm actually kind of surprised you don't have Giorno already completely done. It seems like someone you would have completely done. You'd think so, right? But he's actually like one of the weaker um, reversal attackers. I think he's like the first one, so he doesn't do quite as much damage as the others. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'm probably going to go with Giyu, because he's a reversal damage one, right? Uh, Giyu, the Volleyball Boys, and um, Jorno. Yeah, so I'm probably going to end up picking Giyu, which is going to be really bad, because an upcoming unit that I want is also... I'm going to go from having no blue to potentially two good blues, and that's <laughs> going to make shitload me... shitload of blue, yeah. Yeah, suddenly I'm going to have to actually make decisions. And it's something I'm not used to, but this is a hell of a ticket. It's really good. Like, even if it wasn't for the fact that a lot of them are good, it's a really good selection of just dudes who you... If you can't find an anime character here that you uh, can't... Li- that you don't like, then I'm just going to assume you don't like Shonen Chomp stuff at all. <laughs> if you... If among the selection of eight dudes, if there's not one person that at least makes you feel happy about having them, then I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> there has to be something wrong <laughs> Yeah, this is a good this is a good vote. Like a lot of time, I get worried about voting. Like, oh, it's gonna suck. It's gonna be a really shitty vote. But no, yeah. it, this is a really good uh, vote. A uh, good example. All of these of that characters is... are top tier, and then there's a good anime variety. I guess it's not that big of a variety, but it's got yeah, it's got your JoJo, it's got your big three, you got Sports Boys in there. Yeah, it's your Demon Slayer. What more do you want? What more exactly. Do you want? And uh, and in, in case you're wondering what an example of a bad letting users vote, uh, just look at anything Grand Cross does whenever it comes <laughs> to voting, and look at the actual community tear itself apart over <laughs> selecting actively bad units to be on <laughs> the banners. It's yeah, that sounds great. annoying. Annoying and pretty great. So all things that are coming for 19 million downloads. Like we said, uh, it's kind of broken up. into, And also there's like a 19 million download ticket gotcha. It seems like you're just getting a whole buttload of tickets to potentially yeah, get. Yeah, so like, you get the missions that you get uh, give you these things you trade in for tickets. Like I've already gotten 60 tickets so far. Damn. I haven't got... Oh, well, to be fair, I bought the 200 rupees first. Oh, I did too. I still got 60 tickets after that. Really? Ah, oh, Damn. I, I need to get on my grinding. I just barely finished Naruto up, and I need to get to uh, the other. Oh board. yeah, I'm already done with Naruto and uh, Hikaru. That that would do it then. Yep. Um, yeah. Um. Yes, yeah, a lot of good stuff here. Mountain of tickets distribution scheme. In order to thank you for Pootie friends for helping us reach 19 million, a special ticket distribution will be held. Total of 19 million of the 19 million download tickets will be distributed. To participate in the uh, distribution you must collect 19 million download special souvenirs which is burning friendship which is really good because it's like two handshakes burning in the sunset 
Uh, yeah, it is. Gives. It's like the it's like water at the bottom or clouds or something down there. Yeah, it actually reminds me of the card Yujo Friendship. Yujo Friendship. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, the, the, whenever I think of friendship, I think of Yujo Friendship, the greatest friendship card to ever be added to a card game. Uh, Christmas gift and New Year's Eve bell. To obtain the souvenirs, you'll need to clear missions related to festive items. Uh, each set of missions will only be available for a limited time. Be sure to clear them all. Uh, collect 4,000 fists. Mission burning friendship. Mission distribution starts 1217. Ruby distrib- distribution is on 23rd. Christmas presents on... Okay, so they haven't started. But the Christmas present starts on 1222, and then New Year's Bell starts on 1227. This is basically like they did last uh, celebration, the last big celebration, except for now I understand how it works now. <laughs> so I'll actually do it as opposed to what I did last time, which was ignore it, <laughs> and then start doing it too late. Yeah, that's a problem. Like, some, that That's kind of my issue with this game in general, is that it, like you do not get a lot of stamina, so you really better be putting your ass into these events. And yeah. starting them and playing them every day. You gotta be smart about it for sure. Yeah, they um, really need to up the stamina or something, I don't know. Yeah, they need to add a uh, actual items. Don't you remember that one event where they were just like, we heard your, your cries, we've now added the ability to get stamina, and then all the stamina stuff was only for that event? For just that event, yeah. And they're like, okay, goodbye. <laughs> it's all this is gone. And I was like, wait, well, this is You know isn't- what they did that was awesome? This is completely off topic. Mm-hmm. But they added more rank gems in, so you just got like a like I got a twelve hundred from just logging in because really? they added those rank gems back in. I think I added just I got a little bit of those. I didn't get as much as you, but I got yeah, a decent I'm like amount. rank two two eighty or something. Enough for me to justify throwing one multi at Sasuke to hope for the best. Get it? Did you I get actually, him? I got an SSR, and then just oh. like all the times I was like, oh, okay, this is not going to be him, and it totally wasn't him. I forgot who it was, but it was <laughs> enough to make me go like, God damn it. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Because I'd also just finished doing all the free multis for the other ones, so I had been used to the idea of getting SSRs in the multi, but not it being the right one. So, very sad, but it's alright. I don't need Sasuke for now. I say to myself to stop myself from summoning more on Sasuke. But now that we're talking <laughs> about him... That's fair. Oh, God, he's so fucking good. Yeah, let's talk about the units. We'll start with the, the free-to-play ones. We're going to start with the one that, the only one that, uh, actually that's not true because Naruto is free to play and we both know Naruto. <laughs> we'll start with the one from the, the Go manga that almost no one has probably read at this point because it's a generational divide. I feel like people who grew up in our specific time in the 2000s probably remember Hikaru no Go. And yeah, it was, it was pretty popular. It was pretty popular. I, if memory serves, yeah. It got a decent amount of people over here into the idea of potentially playing Go. I don't think it ever it like popped off. Like there wasn't people in the streets playing Go. <laughs> it wasn't like Yu Gi Oh or something like that. But it still got fairly popular. At least got me interested in Go. So yeah, he's a free to play unit, part of the rivals, um, the rivals event, which is really weird. So this is our second version of him, I believe, right? Because the other ones are Hikaru. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks like it's just him. I don't see his little ghost buddy anywhere. No. So there is no. Do you know how this ends, right? Uh, no, because I vaguely... At some oh, that's point right, they... you just told me that you didn't finish reading it. Yeah, no. Ghost Buddy the go- leaves. To do... Why? Where does he, he go? He passes on like a Tim, bro. He does, but doesn't he have to, like, beat someone using the ultimate No, move? well, no, he, uh... I forget exactly why. It's like, uh, Hikaru won't let him play anymore because he wants to get good at Go, and he gets, like, super fucking depressed about it, and then... Uh, He's like, he, if you're there's gonna, something that if he leaves. Gonna, he basically, he leaves. He got so depressed it made him go into the afterlife. He's like, damn, I need to die again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he, uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but basically, um, Hikaru is really fucking good now. Mm, and then the uh, ghost is like, well, he doesn't need me anymore, so I'm gonna leave. That seems weird because I could have swore that the ghost would have stayed because he's like, well, I still like the game of Go. <laughs> And no, he uh, he just kind of pisses off in the night, and Hikaru never actually gets to say goodbye to him. It's kind of fucked up. Yeah, I can start to see. So we were also talking about this off um, off screen, where I said like a lot of people don't like the ending <laughs> of Hikaru no Go. Yeah, like I, I, it's been a couple years since I read it all the way through most recently, and I, I'm pretty sure Hikaru just like wakes up and he's just gone. 
Really? I'm going to have to probably yeah. check that out. And I don't think they get that there's ever any closure on it. But he does start carrying around a fan like Psy did, which is cute. Oh, that's very nice. So yeah, that's him Him alone. He's a free-to-play. Even, I guess, the devs realized no one, no one would summon for just him with no ghost. <laughs> so they made him. <laughs> so he just gave us the, the dose ghost boy form, which is good on him. It's always it's very weird to see like heroes be made into transcendent class events, but hey, because yeah, it's usually it's very villains. rare for them to do this. Yeah, well, okay, they they do have hero ones, um, but it, it's funny that they did it like in the reverse. Like the villain is the gotcha character. I mean, not yeah. that Akira is a villain; he's more like just a friendly rival. But yeah, I don't know. He seemed kind of, when he beats him the first time, he he had that same look that Bandit Keith had when that kid beat him with the fucking elephant. <laughs> like he, if, if you look back, he was devastated. He's like, I he can't, was, believe, yeah. can't believe, I, can't believe fucking, I lost this fucking nerd. But this also, fucking more importantly, fourth than rate anything, go player that, with a third world. <laughs> actually, we'll talk about this when we get to him. Mm-hmm. I was going to talk about Akira's unit, but we'll talk about him after. Yeah, we still need to go through these free to play. So I'll just start with Fukaru, say, good on him for having him. He's a blue. You can get him. Like all the free to play characters, you can just get them. So we won't go into what he does. Uh, next, speaking of not going into what he does, it's Naruto. Torn shirt version, the one that I really like Sasuke. his sprite. Sprite slaps, dude. It's, it's really pretty good sprite. For a Especially free his victory pose, where he's like punching his legs, doing the Naruto hand in his fist. Oh, that's fucking cool, man. That is pretty cool. Uh, I like this. It, which is funny, because I actually don't really like um, Shippuden and Naruto all that much. It's really just kid for I, me. Yeah, I don't love the redesign, but I really like it with like the looser jacket, like where the jacket's open instead of zipped up. Mm-hmm. I like him a lot better that way. Yeah, I also like him when he's got some battle damage on him. I think in general, most characters look better with uh, torn Yeah, they clothes. do kind of look cooler with, with torn up clothing, like always. Yeah. That's why all the the best Yakuza fights start with the character taking off their shirt. Because they're like, this is real shit now, I don't need this. So similar in Shonen, <laughs> the less clothes the character has while fighting, the better the fight is. Basically. Uh, that's why this Naruto Sasuke fight is one of the greatest, because it ends with them just not having an arm anymore. It's like, damn, they went that far? <laughs> they, they've taken <laughs> off. <laughs> they've really popped off here. Uh, and then also he has like a special close um, event where he gets like the sage mode. I don't know what that mode is called. That well, okay. the The mode is his ultimate attack, so he always has it. Mm-hmm. Um, but the he gets like a he, you know he just gets like an aura like everybody gets like a greenish aura mm-hmm. that all the farmables can get. the The gold mode is just his his special move. Oh, okay, got you, got you. Like when you pop an ultimate bubble, he he goes gold mode and throws a giant shur- uh, Rasen shuriken. Yes, the Rasen, the giant, the wind release ultra big ball Rasen shuriken. <laughs> yes, in that order. <laughs> uh, fantastic name. Um, yeah, glad to. I'm glad to have a Naruto <laughs> as long as it's free. Hey, why not? Yeah, Naruto is just a cool character to have be free. Yeah. Similar to Hikaru, it's just kind of nice to have the main character just be free. Have him there for farming and be good. Like a good uh, luck character. I can finally stop using the big bald head guy from the event two, two events ago. The one the one with all the beefy men. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The one that we don't know the name of and we looked up that one time and we've already promptly forgotten since then. Yeah, exactly him. He's he's apparently very good. Almost everyone uses him for the green um, luck character. But I'll gladly switch to Naruto because I'll assume Naruto will be slightly better because he also, is he's Naruto. Naruto. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's just Naruto, Naruto, so he's cooler. And speaking of cooler, here's a character that will come for. Actually, I don't think this character comes next. So I'm gonna whip save him for last. Next is Fumino from uh, We Never Learn in her. Santa outfit, which is nice because this is actually from a chapter where to help out someone, they dress up as Santa to help um, a bunch of kids. It's so funny it's a- to me how in her art, she's got like an actual Santa outfit on, but in the sprite, it's like a bathing suit. So yeah, so this bathing suit, which is actually funny because it relates back to the limited character from We Never Learned. This is from uh, the popularity poll because there was a popularity poll yeah, on Christmas. Yeah, I saw that. I think you tweeted that image, didn't you? Yeah, I tweeted that image. Yeah. Uh, she got second place. Fumino is for, I think, the West. Fumino is the only character to ever win 
the um, popularity poll in English. Because otherwise, <laughs> the sensei wins it every single time, hands down. The sensei uh, being the pink-haired girl, right? The pink-haired girl, yes. Uh, uh, Mafuyu. Uh, Mafuya, Mafuyu. Uh, she is usually won every single popularity poll, with the exception of the very first one when she was not a really main character, when they did it over in the English side, and that one, Fumino won. And uh, she holds the distinction of the only person to ever beat her <laughs> in the most technicality <laughs> of technicalities. I guess that's why they picked her for this event, then. Yeah, she's she's really well uh, loved. I think I'm one of the very few people who likes her, but not on the same level as everyone else. But in general, nice to have a free one. If it was up to me, it would probably be one of the other girls over her, but this actually is the one that makes the most sense. She literally got second place. you got to give it to her for putting yeah, the... Yeah, that's fair. So, glad to have her in here. And next, the final dude here which is from Ice Shield 21. He is Takara Yamato, who is from the, I think the Alexanders, is the name is, the Te- Teikoku Alexanders, which is the team that Senna, the Devil Bats fight on the Christmas Bowl, which is the the football team that has won the, foot, the, the, the Christmas Bowl every single year. They're like oh. undefeated at the Christmas Bowl. So they are the world's greatest uh, Japanese players because they are they're a team that is filled up with only the best japanese players in all the land and they're all in this one team so cool to have them i really just the funny thing is is that because it's uh because it's a football manga i kind of associate the entire team as opposed to usually just one or two characters so i was like saying was like oh yeah that's that's a good one but i could have i kind of wanted the entire team from the christmas bowl of being honest, more than just one dude. I also think that he is um, he is the basis of the real Ice Shield Twenty One, because Ice Shield Twenty One was a. Uh, <laughs> this is so hard to explain. Senna is Ice Shield Twenty One. That's what everyone calls him. But he's based off of uh, an idea of someone called Ice Shield Twenty One, and then there was someone who was before him, Ice Shield Twenty One, and Takaro is the real Ice Shield Twenty One. So he was basically the best Japanese football player in all the land. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so he's he's basically the exact... He's the he's a, a rival to Senna as well, even though it's on Christmas. Well, not really a rival. He's just better than him in general, and Senna has to kind of go after <laughs> less him. A, less a rival, more just act outright better. <laughs> yeah, kind of like an obstacle to get past. It's weird because right. I think a specific rival situation to me is two characters with the same goal who are around the same like strength level and if it's a story where the character where if, if it's a story where both characters are kind of not in the same like like if one character is clearly the protagonist i feel the protagonist has to be the weaker of the uh rivals at the start otherwise it just doesn't make sense if you're the best if your main character yeah, you start is start out in- better than everybody yeah yeah which is why i probably also don't see kuwabara and yusuke as a rivalry because Yusuke just starts off so much better than Kuwabara. Yeah, they're they're not a rivalry. Yeah, the, see, the Yusuke's beaten Kuwabara like what was it, a hundred and forty times or something like that by the yeah. beginning of the series. Yeah, yeah. He, he's whooping him easily. So Kuwabara might see him as a rival, but it's not really a fair. Um... Yeah, it's. Who would Yusuke even? Does he even have a rival? Maybe Hiei? Maybe. I would say Hiei or Karama would. Or Tagoro, I guess. But that's more of a arch enemy type thing. Yeah, that's he doesn't more really have a friendly friendly rival. Not in that kind of sense, for sure. Uh, rival, rivals, as I kind of noted, is very actually hard to think about because when I was thinking about it, because on the rivals page they actually have Luffy, and then his they consider his li- uh, rival Law, and I was like, they're not rivals in anything. <laughs> they're literal. Uh, friends and they have well i guess luffy sees him as a friend and law sees him as that dude who calls me his friends i kind of a bert and ernie situation in my mind (laughs) where uh ernie says oh this is my friend bert and then bert says this is my associate luffy that's how i see the 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 law luffy relationship anyway i feel like i've gone too far off of this point is i really (laughs) like the takaro's in here (laughs) I think it's cool. I really like the Christmas Bowl. It's probably one of my... Uh, I think if Ice Shield 21 had actually ended on the Christmas Bowl, it would have been easily a 10 out of 10 for me. Well, 9 out of 10 because some of the weird race stuff it does. But... 
<laughs> because it continues on and has like an all-star game arc basically the next as the as the final arc it kind of makes me feel like ah oh, well you kind of should have ended at the the actual penultimate feeling of everything this is the actual like this is the reason you are reading this manga it's for them to be at the christmas bowl this is what every character every single like beginning arc from the beginning of the manga is being paid off here and this is the end and then they have one more um arc to basically say like hey remember all those uh players that you really grew to love what if we just put them in one team and made them fight americans this is basically the ultimate power fantasy for people in Japan who love football because it's like, what if what if the Japanese footballers were better than the Americans? <laughs> it's the ultimate power fantasy, which I that's approve of. Like, that's basically what... Uh, have you seen Kuroko? No, I have not, but it's does Kuroko does the same thing? Yes. So there's... <laughs> the, not in the actual series. The actual okay. series is just high school, um, like basketball. But after it ends, there's a movie that takes place a year later where an American team comes over to play like a team of all of the main characters, like senpais. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 they play like street ball and they embarrass them and they're like giant assholes. So it's basically like the American team is giant douches, like racists. And they're awful. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the, main, the main generation of Miracles guys from Kuroko have to team up and beat them. That's actually not too far off to what Ice Shield 21 does. <laughs> yeah, it's really close. Even down to, like, having the racist Americans. <laughs> yeah, they're like the word. They call all the Japanese players monkeys. And Jesus. they're like, you can't ever you can't ever play basketball like this. And the, Is that where that clip of that dude just completely bawling on the other dudes from... Uh, uh, well, that happens all the time in Kuroko, okay, so... You'd have to you'd have to be more specific. All right, fair enough. Uh, yeah, Christmas Bowl. So now that we're done with the free to play characters, let's because we're gonna end up talking about these series again. Let's go through the. Actually, let's talk about the one dude who's for some reason on a banner by himself. It's Akira Toya from Hikaru no Go. It, probably the weirdest thing. He's just a standard gotcha character, but they didn't add any other standard gotcha characters, so it's just him alone. Yeah. Well, hang on. Let me pull up his um banner. His banner does something. Like different, it like gives you something for pulling on it. Really? Yeah, hang on, I'll pull it up. I'm yeah, already on. The, try um, looking it I'm up. I'm already on the website. It is. It, it definitely is like a banner where you get something. Mm. Oh, it's a gotcha for you. Don't get something. It's for um, characters who boost the drop rate of the farmable items. Oh, so, so it it's him. And then, yeah, whatever characters boost the drop rate of fists, Santas, and soba noodles. Um, I got you. So it's oh oh, it does have the units on it. It's Toya. It's the red Sanji, the one that we just yeah, got in the white it. outfit. Um, it is the yellow Sonosuke, the master of three layers from Kenshin, mm -hmm. and it is the version two of uh, the Psyche K lead of Psyche. Got you. So those are all actually pretty good units. All right, I and mean, his banner to... kind of hits. It's it's a good banner. It's oh, actually, um, that's a, yeah, that's guaranteed first multi. Five yeah, you get two guaranteed five stars, and then also a guaranteed Akira if you do five multis. Damn. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty decent, which makes sense for. Um, they have to make this banner good because literally there's three limiteds coming out, so they have to make this enticing for people to summon on. Yeah, it, I kind of want him just because it's Akira Toya, and I like. Uh, yeah, why, I like why don't you that. tell? Why don't you tell us what he does? Because I think what he does is pretty uh, interesting. All right, hang on, let me the get back to his page because I'm. Uh, I went back to the other page. Okay. 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 So his ultimate attack is 433 percent damage to one enemy, and for two turns, boosts his attack by 40 percent. Buddy's skill is convert a random bubble to a skill with a plus one blast radius. Convert four red and black bubbles to yellows. Reduce the number of turns of guard for all enemies by one. And for three turns, boost the ultimate attack damage of all yellow team members by 15%. And then his passive is if the enemy is a balanced class unit, he gets 50% more attack power. And at the start of his turn, if the enemy is green, he takes 15% less damage. Yeah. That's uh, he's gonna be dealing a lot of damage under the right conditions. 
So ninety percent boost if fighting against a balance class, and if he's not, then he's just forty percent <laughs> for two turns. And then because you're only going to be using him to really fight green dudes, he always has that Although, card 15%. did you know that he is not the, uh... well, no, you wouldn't use him to fight greens because oh, green no, is good right, against sorry. yellow. You use him right, against right. Uh, blue. But he is uh, not the first one to get that 40% attack to self when he ults. Really? Who else has this? The Kurama Chakra Cloak uh, version one Naruto, the non-limited version that's always in Kurama mode. Has it as well. Oh, the then... one that came out with with version two psyche. Interesting. So the I know one because like, I wanted here. psyche uh, really bad, and I didn't get him, and I got that Naruto like four times instead. <laughs> this guy. Okay, so it's hmm. so, but not a lot of characters have that kind of ability to just get forty percent. It's just him and this Naruto so that you that I'm of? aware of. That I'm fair. aware of. Yeah, which to be fair, forty percent is a fat ass boost. <laughs> It is. I was actually kind of laughing because when I saw him, I'm like, he only has one sentence for his uh, ult. Most characters have at least, like, a paragraph. <laughs> but he has, like, two sentences. Yeah, they're always, like, like do, like, a bunch of different shit. Yeah, his is just fat-ass buff. Yeah, it's just a fat... Like, for example, if you go back to F Fumino, this is what her ult paragraph is. For one turn, reduce damage received for red team members by 600. For one turn, boost the attack of red team members. Uh, by 20%. For two turn press attack of DPS cl class uh, team members by 10%, and that's a free character giving <laughs> with, a, with a lot more sentences than what Akira has for being a standard gacha, but it's fine because literally 40%. Just slap the 40 Well, yeah, I mean, good. if you give... If, if he has 40% and you give him anything else, like, Jesus. Yeah, it's a little bit that's too much. That's crazy. Point. Yeah. And, yeah, his other stuff seems pretty nice, being able to convert. Yeah, he's, he's a good support for yellow teams. I mean, he, he makes some... A, bubble he gives a good at like 15 percent to everybody which is pretty good uh his passive is pretty hyper specific but he'll be good against balanced enemies because he gets a generic 50 percent attack bonus just for existing in that fight mm -hmm. so i think he's i think he's good yeah and again he's <laughs> someone who's actually pretty cool from hikaru no go I, i'm trying to see if his border is actually from when he lost but it, this dev his face doesn't look as devastated as it did when he lost to um hikaru the first time <laughs> No, yeah, he's not like questioning his life. No, yeah, he, he again, he got beat pretty bad to the point that when he beats him again, he's like, hey, "What the fuck? What is this? <laughs> Weak." Yeah, because he he beats him the first time using the ghost, and then he wants to play him the second time without the ghost, and he gets his ass blasted by Akira. Just, and Akira's like, "What the fuck?" And at that point, I think like Akira had just gone full on like, "Hey, I basically demoted myself to be able to play you," and it's and then he plays him, he goes like. <laughs> not really worth it if I'm being no. TBH <laughs> not really worth it I think that's actually the good sign of a rival is when that they're on a better uh, side of something um, they will actively go down to their level <laughs> I think um, my favorite example of this is uh, Rikishi from uh, uh, Akita Nojo who is a heavyweight boxer, but in order to fight a lightweight boxer like Joe, he actively has to starve himself in order to fight Joe on a fair fight because they won't allow a heavyweight boxer to fight a um, like a medium weight or something like that. But they're not in the same weight class, so they actually have like f before their fight, they show him like not eating. They show him like in a steam room trying to get himself like super skinny. Like they never show his body, but then when they do reveal it, they're like, "Oh my god, what have you done to yourself?" <laughs> and he's like, "This is the only way I could fight you." And I was like, "God damn. <laughs> this manga is fucking awesome." <laughs> but that's not uh, pretty badass actually. <laughs> it does. It's unfortunate that it's like from the 1960s and all the translations are like and you can't ever find it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't find like good scans of it and then when you do see the scans it's like eat shit and it's like oh, I don't think that's what the characters were saying. <laughs> uh but still it's pretty it's pretty good. You should if you I guess if you want to see a modern take on I guess you just see the anime for uh uh, fuck, what is it called? Something box. Megalobox? Yeah, there you go. Megalobox is based off of Joe, but uh, modern and with, I think, robot parts. I assume it's the Rikishi's in there, too. But anyway, that's Akira. 
I couldn't, I kind of couldn't, I kind of do want him, but it's unfortunate that he's being released around the same time as three limiteds. Yeah, triple limiteds who are all really good. Yeah, if if only he wasn't released around that kind of set, it'd be a different story. Next, let's talk about the first of the limiteds, Sasuke, because he's out right now. Sasuke Uchiha, Jap- Japanese name, Sasuke Uchiha. Uh, tell us what he does. Sasuke Uchiha, which is the only limit that's already up, so he's you can get him right now. Uh, his ultimate is 511% damage to one enemy. If the enemy has bleed, afflicts an additional 40%, so that's 551%. At the start of the next turn, convert one random bubble into a skill bubble with 10% base damage, and for two turns, boost his attack by 11%, and for one turn, reduce damage received by reds by 130. So yeah, he kind of slaps. Uh, his buddy skill is remove the strongest ultimate attack damage boost from all enemies, recover 30,000 HP in the tower, 750 out of it. For two turns, reduce the number of bubbles required to create a skill bubble for all red and yellows by three, and for eight turns, boost the at- ultimate attack damage of all red and yellows by 18% or 31% in the tower. And then his passive is reduce the damage this unit receives from bleeding by 4810, boost his attack by a flat 15%. If the enemy is a special class enemy, reduce the number of bubbles required to create a skill for this unit by three and reduce his damage received by 1,000 from it or by 80,000 in the tower. And if the enemy is a tank, do the exact same thing. Hmm. This so is a basically, he's no, j- just a beast. He's a PvP beast. Yeah. To the if if someone was complaining that Yuna was maybe a little bit too PvP focused, <laughs> Sasuke is one hundred percent PvP. Focused. Literally, that's what he's built for. Yeah, he's just gonna fuck shit up in PvP. He's so good. He's PvP so... is my favorite part of this game, so I'm yeah. all about it. If you're looking for someone on PvE, there's better fire units, but if you're looking for someone for PvP, this man's 100% built to just be in PvP. It's his environment, which is funny because I think in an actual, uh, the actual Sasuke would be very fitting in a PvP environment. That's why he he makes sense in Fortnite. This is basically the ultimate, <laughs> the ultimate sign is that... Have you uh, seen the fucking dancing Sasuke gifts from Fortnite? They're so fucking yes. funny. They are super They're good. So funny. They're so unbelievably funny because it's like, I think so. I, I think I saw someone put the mat, the ultimate mat, the ultimate crossover, which was taking the um, uh, the all very the already very funny Venom video where it's Venom singing Venom, Eminem's Venom, and I think they just put Sasuke <laughs> in the background <laughs> along with the Venoms, which is maybe my favorite crossover is <laughs> that exact moment. Um, so yeah, it makes sense for Sasuke to be so PvP focused. He's basically PvP focused in the manga. He's only about that player versus player. That's true. All he, he just wants the smoke at all times. Exactly. That's why he shows up to the Kage Summit saying like, yo, what up, bitch? And then <laughs> he, he immediately runs away <laughs> from what I remember because he gets the smoke and he's like, all right, I've yeah, done what he, I've come. He wants the smoke, gets it, and he's like, ah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I forgot that you guys were <laughs> actually. It's a lot of smoke. <laughs> he basically shows up and he. It it would be the equivalent of I like, because you know they're the ninja president right they're the presidents of yeah, their they're, they're just all the ninja president. Imagine an assassin showing up to like the meeting of the presidents and fucking uh, Joe Biden pulls up like <laughs> the crazy smoke and he does the full like tsunami <laughs> hand signs and turns super young. <laughs> Biden walks out and it just opens his eyes and they're like they start bleeding like Itachi's. <laughs> exactly like Itachi's like damn I'm here. <laughs> President of France is like the tiny dude just like biding his time. So it's like I don't want to get involved in this, but I will I have to. <laughs> That's basically what uh Sasuke did here. <laughs> he completely got I mean it, it was a cool moment for sure, but <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you thought he was gonna do. <laughs> I guess he really did think it's like whatever. President is just a, um, it's just a title. I could take him down. Oh wait, no, I forgot. These fuckers are supposed to be the strongest of their, of their respective uh, clan uh, villages. Yeah, completely forgot about that part. Never mind. Peace out. And then he fights a dude with a bunch of arms on his hands, from what I remember. <clears throat> Good times. 
so yeah, this is the Sasuke with Susano. Is that different from... Does Susano get like a different form? I think... I don't know if I told you this so, before, but there's a point where he, I just... You just stop with Naruto? Yeah, there's a point where I was just like, all right, I'm good. As he gets stronger, there, there's like an incomplete uh, Susano, <laughs> which is the one that he's using in this, which is why it's just a rib cage and a hand. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when he like... Have you seen the ultimate attack for it? I guess I have seen the ultimate attack for it. Yeah. So the ultimate is like its completed form. Uh, where it shoots the crossbow on its wrist. And then later on, he gets an even more completed one that's like bipedal with wings. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is from... I remember this fight. This is actually with the Donzo, isn't it? The, uh, the yeah, well, he. I think this is... Does he use... I don't know if... Oh, yeah, he uses Susano to kill Donzo, where he like, crushes him with the hand. Yes, um, yeah. Yeah, and like he uses the rib cage to fight the Raikage at the same time. And then he uses the arrow against Kakashi, but Kakashi uses Kamui to, to stop it. This is like peak piss Sasuke because he just uh, he had his one goal, which was kill Itachi. He basically had his entire life dream, and then Itachi at the last minute said, uh, "By the way, uh, yeah, none of that was for good. Anything? Let me show you what Ruth. No, I think he just dies, and he's like, okay, I'm good with dying.' And then someone shows up and says, like, hey, this is what actually happened.' And Sasuke is like, God damn it! Yeah, that's I'm... literally exactly what happens. It's like, fuck, God, why did he just <laughs> fuck? Why didn't he tell me? He's like, would you have listened? No. <laughs> but still? And then he goes on his uh, crazy murder rampage that we all know and love, to be honest. K- Konoha's favorite terrorist, <laughs> Sasuke Yushi. <laughs> he really is. Naruto's just like, no, you leave my boy alone. <laughs> you don't touch him. Imagine if fucking, uh, again, because Naruto is the president, the ninja president. Imagine if Biden was just like, don't even talk about the Unabomber, all right? Listen, he's a, he's America's favorite uh, <laughs> a criminal. Don't take him down. It's like, uh, Mr. President, he has not been around since the 1960s, <laughs> since, his, since, his, uh, since his famous heist. Oh. Well, leave him alone, regardless. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So yeah, this Sasuke. I really wanted him. I did my one multi. Did not get him. You actually have him, and you've been using him, and he's been pretty he's fierce and fucking awesome. He's so good. He's so easy to get his buff with, because you can obviously just apply bleed whenever you want, basically. Mm-hmm. So he just fucking slaps. He's so good. Yeah. And there's not a lot of dudes with the the bleed um with anti-bleed there's almost none of them i know because all of them are red and all of them are used for that naruto fight <laughs> for pve mm-hmm. it's like ah oh, damn all of these dudes are red and there's not a lot of them <laughs> there's only like three <laughs> so you, you can easily run rough shot over everyone yeah they did they've done good for this sasuke and this is also a taiwanese the he was Ty- taiwanese first I don't know. We we both don't know what that version did, but I don't know no. if it was Oh, that. was he Taiwanese? I know the Taiwan got, gets some stuff first, because apparently they can't have JoJo characters. Yeah, he was a uh, Taiwan first. <clears throat> he was one of them. I know because uh, Taiwan also has the uh, the version of Carrot that I really want, but they got it first because they can't have JoJo characters, so now I have to wait for them to eventually add her. And I, think, I think she's limited over there, so <laughs> I'm going to wait Oof. to see what happens over here. <laughs> Yeah, they're not always the same. Like no. uh, the Sanji that we just got and yeah. the Kakashi are also limited in Taiwan and they're not in Japanese. Yeah, the Kaiba was also limited, right? Yeah, and he ended up being free in, <laughs> in the Japanese version. Yeah, so I have to wait and see on that one. If she, if there, <laughs> Based off of One Piece getting 3,000 limiteds, it's likely she'll be limited, but you never know. Yeah, like, <sighs> like you're talking about like the Super Saiyan carrot, right? Yeah, the Sulong, the Sulong version under the under under a full moon, she turns into a super yeah, killer she looks, bunny. She looks cool. Yeah, she does. So she, unfortunately, no, I don't think any. I think only one One Piece game has that version of her, and it's the one. It's, I think it's Treasure Cruise, and I, I just oh. don't have it in me to start another. Yeah, another Gasha. No, thank you. Uh, no thanks. Then she's not even in the fucking Pirate Warrior game, which pissed me off because I downloaded it and see if she was in it. She was not. <laughs> I was like, God damn it! What's the fucking point of this? What's the point of you fucking Dynasty Warrior fucking video game? Anyway, that's Sasuke. Uh, if you love Sasuke, he's definitely worth it to get for PvP. If you're someone who's super into PVE, probably not the dude for you. So an easy skip for you. Yeah, uh, if you don't really like PV, uh, PvP, you prefer PVE. Um, mm-hmm. He's not he's, really doing yeah, I think he's still good, but he's not nearly as good as he is in PvP. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just compared they still to have him as they have him as S tier. I think he's the highest ranked in, on the Discord. He's like the highest tiered one of the three. Really? That's Even crazy. in PVE, yeah. He's fucking good. That. Okay. That is Sasuke. Next, let's go into the real, the real reason we're here today. That's right. I've been waiting for her all along. <laughs> Everyone's been right. Everyone's been hyped. That's right. It's Mafuya Kurisu from We Never Learn, a.k.a. Sensei, which is what I call her because she is the sensei to the main character because she is a teacher. Um in her uh, ice skating outfit because originally before she wanted to be a teacher she wanted to be a, a, a an ice skater and then life happened and she was unable to fulfill her dreams until of course the protagonist comes around and he does some protagonist stuff and gives motivational speech and she eventually tries again Aww, and that's his version and and in her victory pose here is from her astounding victory in the in the uh, Christmas popularity poll which I thought was like when they announced her, I was like, oh, shit, they're going to use this costume because this is the this is the famous poll. This is the poll where there was like, we don't have to run a popularity poll anymore. We're done. There's no coming back from this. It's the one where she won first place by such an astounding margin that even if you put second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth together, it does not beat how many votes, votes she got. That's wild. Yeah, so just to give the final vote here, I'll start with the fifth. Uh, no, the I think it's uh, sixth place got 1, 000, uh, 1,083. Fifth place got um, 14,088. Fourth place got 18,003. Third place got 2,980. Third, I might be pronouncing some of these wrong, actually. Am I 14,000? Yeah, that's... What that's 1,803 is 4th place, 5th place is 1,488, 3rd place is 2,980, 2nd place was 3,259, and 1st place was a whopping 14,598. That is Sensei Jesus. getting number 1. And That's uh, absolutely wild. That is maybe the wildest popularity poll in general. It all should. I've never seen a character win by such a large margin. And I think they never did another popularity poll after this because they're like, okay, we get it. She's number one. <laughs> There's really no reason for us to continue on. I think they actually yeah. said this is this is the only popularity poll where second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth all went down in numbers compared to the previous popularity <laughs> poll. So she only got more popular. She only got more popular and everyone else got less votes. <laughs> it is really amazing. And I'm glad that the this really shows how much they care about the actual Shonen Jump aspect of these characters. That they're like, no, if there's going to be a limited from this series, it has to be her. And it has to be specifically around this time when she won like a crazy amount. So you're saying they did right by you? I'm going to say they did right. I've never seen... like. It's hard to do right by a series when you do 5,000 series. Like, even if you take, for example, a gotcha that only focuses on one. Uh, let's take, for example, throw my hat in the bad Dokkan, for example. Sometimes oh, they do Lord. right. Sometimes they do right. Like, you know, LR Namek Goku okay. and um, LR Full Power Frieza. They are reminiscent of that fight and they feel like kind of like that character and they and you feel like, oh, this is a feel good moment. This is all good. But then there's other aspects of the specific characters where you're like, why are you failing them so terribly when they're so important to the actual series? You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And for them to get it right for a character from one, I'm going to assume we never learned is obviously popular, but probably not as popular as actual like shonen shonens. It's oh, like yeah, for sure. it, it's obvious. Like even I can accept that. That's obvious. But for them to actually to go out of their way and to do the character right and to actually do like the right setting and to release it around Christmas, it's insane to do that level of detail for something that people like me will summon for, but then the vast majority of dudes who are here for the shonen dudes probably won't. And I appreciate that in anything. And if you do anything, I think it's well done. Ended up getting more real about why I like design, but I actually really do like how well they've done this character, and it makes me, it's gonna make me that much sadder when I don't get her. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna suck. I definitely want her. I think she's really good. 
Yeah, so why don't you uh, tell us what the unit does herself? All right, God, her ultimate is a fucking paragraph. Hell yeah. <laughs> So, inflict 480% damage to one enemy, absorb that enemy's uh, highest ultimate attack damage buff. For two turns, inflict 2,000 bleeding damage to all enemies. While the enemy is afflicted by bleed, if you connect one or more blue bubbles with this unit at the end of the turn, inflict an additional 6,000 damage. And then for two turns, red bubbles have a 100% chance to appear as a heart column paint bubble, maximum of one. So she's like uh, the, what's the Hitman Reborn kid? Suna. She's like the yellow Suna, but she also inflicts bleed. Yes, so she actually would work Whoa, with Sasuke. The... Yeah. Yes, something just fell in the kitchen. Continue. <laughs> uh, everything's fine in the kitchen. It looks like. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. <clears throat> what were we talking about before I got distracted by the, the what sounded like something in my kitchen <laughs> the, uh... fucking falling apart? The uh, we're talking about your girl's abilities. Yes, of course. Continue. Okay. Continue speaking to my uh, girl. <laughs> All right. Her buddy's skill is convert the left bubble below the center to a skill bubble and boost its blast radius by one. Convert five random bubbles to blue, two block bubbles to blue, and recover three thousand HP or one hundred and seventy thousand in the tower. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. 170,000. I'm going to be real with you. I did not see what her buddy skill did until this very moment. That's fucking insane. That's great. I love Yes, that. it's super good. And then her passive is reduce bleed received by 30 or 4390. Boost her ultimate attack by a flat 15, and before her turn, convert two red and one black bubble to heart. Mm. So, eh. Yeah, but that yeah. buddy skill is nuts. It's so good. Yeah, that's... That's that's great. That's more than the... The the dudes like the, the cowboy girl in Boruto, right? Because Boruto does... Uh, they do 120. Or no, 112. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so even so if she, you has, don't... she has almost 60,000 more than that. Damn. Yeah, that's a fat fucking heal, bro. <laughs> She's really good. Yeah, that's a that's really good heal. And... Yeah, I want her bad to slap on my... as Because I use a lot of blues. My team right now is Ace and Luffy, Adult Toshiro, Rukia, and Sasuke. Mm -hmm. Definitely want to slap her on Rukia. Yeah, that'd be she'd be fantastic for uh, that buddy skill for sure. Even if uh -huh. it's it's great for someone like me who actually wants to use the unit itself, but also that but like you, the idea of just like using the buddy skill with like someone if I were to get like just uh, Gi or something like that, and I did I didn't want to run more than one blue. And it's Imagine like, oh. you use her and Boruto and the the cowboy girl all at the same turn. You basically just get your fucking health back, right? At that yeah, point. that's like. Uh, three hundred and ninety-four thousand is all three of them together. Jesus, the with the only bad part being is that um, Barto and um, Cowboy Girl have to always be in the middle. But yeah, even so then, it, overla it would overlap. Well, you could. What I do in a situation like that, if I have to end up overlapping them accidentally, is I'll use one of them and then just save the skill bubble for the next person's turn. Yeah, the yeah. second one. So, so like I'll pop them and then I'll do the other one. Yeah, that that'd be uh, that'd be a good save for sure. Um, yeah, they've done uh, justice to her in many different ways, which is nice. Because if there's, again, I think this is, unless they decide to do like a limited that is all three of the main girls is one unit, um, I don't think that we get another limited from We Never Learn. <laughs> it's, even, even though it was extremely popular and well-liked, even though I think it got a little bit weird with its multiple timelines at the end there when... Uh, it got a little bit like it, it, it's one of those things where it's like uh, we, I guess it, I you know this because you're a big fan of the harem manga, right, Zen? Oh yeah, that's my that's yeah. my genre. That's your genre. So <clears throat> in, in most of uh, most of the time in harem mangas, you're 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 basically like kind of betting on a horse. The girl you like most, you want her to win. You want <laughs> you want that one to be the one that wins. And the uh, author decided, I'm going to guess it's actually because of how popular she ended up being and he did not plan that. He ended up giving every single girl basically a winning route. 
So there's actually like five routes at the end of the manga. And I think someone has actually put together like the official timeline. Because there's like a point in We Never Learn where they say specifically, um, we actually have a um, legendary thing based off of it where it's the fireworks festival. But they say that during the fireworks festival, if you are holding someone's hand during it, then that's basically the person you're going to end up with. And during that page, it's like left ambiguous as to who he was with when he did it. And basically, he shows five different timelines that all go back to that specific point and say, what if it was this girl? What if it was that one? So there basically exist five timelines where each of the girls won, so to say. And it's crazy because at certain points where he's like, okay, this is basically the main timeline one done. He's like, let's go back to this point. Let's go back to this point. And then some of them, it's like, let's go actual years back now. <laughs> Because now we have to go crazy back to explain some stuff. It's uh, it, it, it's maybe the first time I've ever seen a harm manga actually try and do all routes. Because most of the time they just pick the one girl and then they good and then everyone else is just kind of salty. Um, this one did the very interesting route of having actively saying there's actually multiple timelines. And saying, <laughs> I'm going to, instead of choosing one girl, I've chosen that there's actual multiple timelines into the Spider-Verse style. Let's go. I don't care. All of them win. Uh, man. I can't wait to actually potentially get her. It's a real shame that Senna's coming afterwards because if I don't get her on the initial one, then she's kind of getting all the attention and Senna might end up getting yeah. skipped. Yeah, I mean... I think she's better than Senna, but Senna's really good, too. Yeah. She's also a girl, Zen, which is very important. Also true. In a Santa outfit. Yeah. In a Santa outfit, and then she also has a figure skating outfit as well, which you can see right there. It's very Top good. quality. That's what we're here for. Exactly. This is a top quality girl, Zen. You don't get that many votes. She is the ninja president of her timeline. <laughs> she, she was voted the most popular. She has to be number one. <laughs> And yeah, that's. I think that's all I gotta say. Can't wait to actually get her. If you're a big fan of We Never Learned, I would suggest uh, playing now and just getting her. Let's yeah. go. She's very good. So. Yes. And finally, <clears throat> let's talk about our final boy, my final boy, Senna Ice Shield Twenty One, uh, with his fourth dimensional Devil Bat Ghost. <laughs> I think his full title is the Fourth Dimensional Running Back. <laughs> The fourth dimensional light speed running back. Yeah, I, I, for, I completely forgot that the by the end of the series, he's going fourth dimensional with his devil bad ghosts. He's a very fast boy, Zen. So tell us what he does. So his ultimate is inflict 473 damage, to, 473% damage to one enemy and absorb their highest attack buff. And for three turns, guard 50% of all counterattack damage received. Uh, his buddy skill is convert one green to a skill, convert six blues to a yellow, convert two green and three red to heart, and for two turn, weaken all enemies by 30%. Uh, his passive is reduce the number of bubbles required to negate bind by 11, boost his ultimate attack damage by 12%. On turns 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, reduce the number of bubbles required to create a skill bubble by 3, when you connect two or more bubbles with him, at the end of the turn, recover 700 health. Very specific, just 700. Yeah, that no, there's no tower difference, it's just a flat 700. Yeah, well, to be fair, what are they going to do, nerf it? <laughs> or make it... Yeah, well, they could make it more, be like, you know, 10,000 yeah. or something. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be... Uh, that, that would be pretty good, for sure. Yeah, this is Senna. I think he ends up being, ends up being the weakest of the three. I still think he's pretty good. Like I do think here. he's good, but I also agree. I think he's the weakest one. Yeah, I was even when even as someone who was kind of new to the game, I was reading it, kind of going like, "Yeah, he definitely has good stuff." It's just a shame that he's being released with Sasuke and uh, Sensei over here because it makes him look worse than he actually is. Because he's again good. Um, and this yeah, is also he, he is good. The other two just feel like really dominant. Although yeah. you know, seven hundred is like a decentish amount of health in pve if you're just attacking every turn and healing with him you got a fair point there because don't actually... healer pat, don't healer buddy skills heal for like two to four k i actually think you're right on that one yeah 700 might actually be pretty that's a, that's a pretty a decent chunk because you're gonna get it every single turn yeah it's not too yeah, bad you're right you're right 
Yeah, because it's going to be pretty easy for you to connect two or more bubbles. Yeah, it's literally so, any bubble that's not one by itself. Yeah, you'll you'll be able to... Actually, yeah, that's a, some nice u- utility right there, now that you've brought it up. the This is also the center that makes the most sense to make limited, because it is from, <clears throat> like I said previously, the Christmas Bowl, which is the... The whole reason that they've started Ice Shield Twenty, the whole reason that Ice Shield Twenty One exists, well, not the character, but the the manga exists. It exists for this one point, um, to reach the Christmas Bowl. How far into the deep fried scans did you make it into Ice Shield Twenty One before you gave up? Ah, uh, dude, like chapter two. Those scans were abysmal. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I figured. Still a shame that uh, Shonen Jump owns this manga and also ha- fully translated it and does not put it up on their app. Don't know why they did that, but that's the decision that they've chosen. <laughs> yeah, I don't really... I, the ones they put on the app are weird. I don't really know why. Like, they just... Like, when the app first launched, they didn't have JoJo on it either. No. They didn't they, have... They, it, it's on there now, but they didn't have a lot of stuff. Do they have Stone Ocean? No, right? No. They still don't have... They only put up what comes out in English. That's crazy. How have... There's no officially translated Stone Ocean yet. How? They just started putting up uh, Golden Wind. I'm just going to say how, when after they've seen how popular JoJo's gotten, they've gotten so many years to prepare. Like, if I'm being 100% real with you, whenever Stone Ocean was about to come out, Shonen Jump should have said, on the app, we will be releasing, like, uh, you know, kind of like week by week, some new chapters for, or if they want to do it all at once, whichever one they want to. But that makes the most sense, right? Like, it's so weird that the, one of the most popular long, uh, animes out there you can't read the you can't read it in English over here because nope, there's no good way you, of reading it. Not unless you uh, pirate it. Yeah, that's the yeah. once again we have to ask the pirates to uh, pick up the slack of where the actual official business have gone. There has to be some kind of crazy licensing deal that's preventing it from happening, is what I would guess. Some kind something crazy like that. Um, I don't know Probably... why. You should... I assume that's what it is. If I were to guess what key, what keeps Ice Shield 21 away, because again, this is also drawn by the dude who does the the art for One Punch Man, so the art is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm going to assume it's, again, it's the, a lot of the weird race stuff that is in Ice Shield 21. It's not a lot of it, but it's enough to make you kind of go like... <laughs> When the when the box pops up and says like black people are naturally uh, amazing at football, you kind of go, mm. <laughs> you go uh, yeah. There's kinda, a scene like that in Kuroko also actually. Yeah, when the when the the one um, black the first black character that you see is called Panther, and then he plays his first ever game, and by like turn by like the second like play, he's amazing and he's already caught up to Senna. And Senna's like, is this the power <laughs> of the race? <laughs> and he doesn't say that, but oh, it, it almost no. comes to it. <laughs> it's oh, unfortunate. No. It's, like I said, there's a lot of unfortunate just like misunderstandings. I think it comes from a place of like the Japanese artist loves the actual creator of Ice Shield 21 loves football. And he's trying to fully articulate why a because in America, in football, we kind of just have an understanding of like it's whether you believe it's true or not, it's usually that, you know, African-American players are usually some of the best football players. And it's just true in general that a lot of it just so happens to be that way. But when you're Japanese and you're trying to tell them exactly, hey, how come it's like this? They come up with the most weird shit ever. <laughs> All right, let me explain it to you in a manga sense when it's actually in real life. It's like, well, they work extremely hard and they put in the work and they just so happen to be the best. And they also just so happen to be black. And I guess you can't really make that make sense in a manga <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> when all their characters are about just working very hard, you think it'd be a very easy thing to kind of explain. But no, it's actually like a push and pull kind of thing. Um, that's why I've always assumed why I Shield 21 doesn't show up to uh, the Jump app. Because they don't want to deal with the blowback of it. Because I don't think there's anything... Because Yu Yu Hakusho is also not on the Jump app either, right? Yu Yu Hakusho, you can get the volumes for. Yeah, they had. But it's, they ask not, you to, it's not free or readable. There's also some uh, wild shit in Yu Yu Hakusho when it comes to specifically some of the characters who are coded as transgender that you kind of go like, hmm. Well, it's it's weird because I think that she's like, she's not transgender, she's a drag queen. 
Yeah. And Yus- Yusuke tells her to just, like, sack up and become trans, I think. There's many ways that you can kind of interpret it, but, and I think I think it kind of depends on where you kind of see Yusuke coming from. Because I, I think I also see that as what Yusuke is saying, where he says that you should just be yourself, and then he beats the shit out of them. But I think it that it, she needs to get surgery. Yes, like live it's, your truth, girl. Yes, he says it, but in like a gross, like not okay. Way. That's the problem. Is like the way we're translating yeah. it for you yeah. is not the way he fucking says we're it. We're saying it very generously in the in the series. I'm pretty sure he says that if you want to be a real woman, you have to get bottom surgery, or else you're like a freak. I think he does say that, but it's yeah. the reason it's we're bad. interpreting it. It's really bad. It's really bad. But to be fair, Yusuke is also a punk. That doesn't oh, yeah. make Yusuke's it good. Like, supposed to be a piece of shit, but it's really bad. It's the part where it's like, ugh, this is the ultimate, just like, piece of shitness. Uh, that's, wh- that's why I'm saying like, oh, you can interpret the character saying it in this way, but you can't fight what is actually said. <laughs> because what is actually said is borderline terrible, which is why I think some of the stuff like, oh yeah, you have to pay for Yu Yu Hakusho because they know like some of the stuff in here is just not going to fly very well for some people. Um and I assume Ice Shield 21 is in the same way. JoJo is obvious because it's, you know, licensing issues. Yeah, they got to spend all that time thinking up funny names for the stand names they yeah. can't keep. They can't just use Ookie Cookie, the terrible song that is from Limp Biscuit. They have to come up with Flaccid Pancake. <laughs> Flaccid Pancake. Uh, Filthy yeah. Axe at a reasonable price. <laughs> that one's actually good. I, know, I, can't, I love that one. I can't wait to hear the Japanese uh, anime say... Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, and it's translated to uh, <laughs> Filthy Axe Done Reasonably. <laughs> filthy Axe at a reasonable price. It's going to be the most b- bold uh, lie as to what is being translated ever created. They're all so funny, because like, we're watching part six right now, and it's just <laughs> funny. I, I, it's always funny watching a JoJo character scream the actual name, and the subtitle's not even close to correct. Yeah, it's it's maybe the funniest part. Of st- I had to eventually like turn that part of my brain off because it actually really does bother me when I see characters say something like, um, I say this thing all the time, especially in the Netflix, when um, Dio is actively saying in English, goodbye, JoJo. Do not translate it as anything but goodbye, JoJo. Because <laughs> I can literally I hear... <laughs> you can hear him say it. I could literally hear him say goodbye, Jojo. Don't tell me he's saying farewell, Jojo, or something like that. Don't tell me like he's saying something completely different because it will bother <laughs> me. It bothers the shit out of me. It's so funny with the stand names. It is. When Jolene screams stone free and it says stone ocean, it's in English! <laughs> we Never fucking know what she said! It's so crazy. It's especially funny when it's like um, they're willing to play uh, Duffy for the end song, but they're not willing to pay for being able to say the, the names. actual names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, we spent all the money on Duffy. Well deserved. Everyone else kind of has to go with the code names because we're not paying for this shit every single time just so we can say Limp Biscuit. We're not giving Fred Durst money, which I think is fair. To get back to Senna, uh,. I kind of wanted him. I hope to have enough saved up for when I finish with Sensei so I can throw a little bit more at him. He's also got the unfortunate thing of being right next to New Year's. So I think also Super Vegito Banner is coming right after him. Not that I have any hope of pulling uh, Super Vegito. Yeah, but... I think Super Vegito is dropping like literally over New Year's. Yeah. So there might be something else near New Year's, but I really like... Um, Ice Shield 21, I would definitely love to have Senna. Um, I think the only other character... I think it's easier for me to kind of go like, ah, oh, maybe I can wait for the next time Senna comes around. If this had been um, some of the other characters from Ice Shield 21... Because again, I really do like Senna, but he is not... Similar to Sensei, he is not the favorite character from Ice Shield 21. It is uh, Haruma, which is the uh, crazy devil-looking man. The one that the actual leader, the captain of the Devil Bats. Um, I think he's currently a free to play character only in Jumpooty, from what I remember. Let's see if I can find uh, him. Uh, yes. No, he's a four star, right? Yeah, he's a free to play 
Oh, that's right. So you have to He's actually get him from Ben. Star. So you have to actually get him from yeah. Haruma is a four star, and then you have to kind of get him the five star version. Well, you, had... you level him up to five, and then you have, there's like a special item that you can use. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it's really great because if you actually look at the four star version, his manga panel is from his battle cry, which is I think it's let's kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> He basically starts from the says before every game. Basically, it's like let's fucking murder them. <laughs> let's go. We're the devil bats. <laughs> Haruma was so amazing. I love him so much. If it had been him as a limited, then I would just have kissed the Christmas presents I would have bought for my family goodbye. I need to be able to get this man. <laughs> he would have been top priority. He's the character who has the uh, the Hail Mary pass. Which is maybe one of the most badass moments I've ever seen in all football, where he's like, they, the way that they signify a Hail Mary pass is that the actual Hail Mary shows up. And then when they throw the football, it's like going, it's like a devil going straight through the, the Mary oh, I statue. I think I've seen that, um, I think I've seen that picture on Twitter before. It's so good. And then one of my favorite quotes from him right afterwards is that I think it's, devils don't pray and then he shoots it and he basically every time he does a hail mary pass he's basically saying fuck hail mary we're gonna do this we're devils we don't have to actually do anything uh, let me see if i can find it because it's a very good quote let me see but yeah this is if it was if it had been him which i have to assume that they're just going to be saving for um the next limited ice shield 21 does because there's a lot of moments of him in the the manga that would be good enough to be made into a limited. He's also the character who also just has heavy like AK forty sevens that he shoots all the time. He doesn't do it on the field, unfortunately, which would be really funny. That's a shame. That would be hilarious. Yeah. Devils don't ask gods for favor is what he says. <laughs> when he shoot when he shoots off the Hail Mary. Cause they say like, oh the Hail Mary is basically the last thing that you can do. It's like basically like um you're praying for good things to happen to you if you're doing a Hail Mary pass because that's the only way for it to succeed. And they think after he's that he just says, like, devils don't ask for favors. And he fucking shoots it off and he tells them good, good luck. <laughs> Deal with it. It's amazing. It's really good. I really need to read Ice Shield, but those scans, dude, they're a fucking nightmare. I need to find some decent scans for you. How about yeah, that? if you can find some good quality scans, I'm all over that. But I tried reading through some of that and some of those, like, Good lord! It looks like someone drew it with a pen. That's yeah. how bad it is. Like hand drew it. Like imagine this version. This is the version that comes back. I think after he's had his entire back broken mid game, and he comes back mid game. Oh like my this. god, that's awesome! And, and that this is so what cool. the quote. This is what they're saying around him. And now the man who can melt pure white ice to make a black sinister mist, known as the Commander from Hell, Haruma Yoshi, <laughs> Yoshi, or something like that. I Not love Yoshi. sports manga when it's fucking over the top like this. It it's is. The best it's kind. Really, it's really good because when he comes back, they're like, I think the guy's like, what the fuck? I literally broke his back. How is he playing? And then when he's uh, when he's playing, he's like, guys, I, I'm basically like fucking, this is all smoke and mirrors. My back's literally <laughs> fucking broken. If they come to me, I'm going to die. <laughs> so basically, we have to trick them into thinking that I'm fully okay and that I can do everything. <laughs> That's amazing. It's really good. Um, I'm going to see if I can find some good scans for you because <laughs> it would be good to have someone else to talk about Ice Shield 21. And that is all the new units that are coming. And I'm going to assume we'll be here for a while. We'll see around part three what they have in store around New Year's other than Super Vegito. But that's basically it. If we were to take a guess, um, if there's anything that would be surprising that's on not on the roadmap, it's pretty obvious. It's Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> But good luck. I mean, I feel like I've been saying that every single time, though, so I'm not holding my breath for JJK anymore. No, you're right to do that. I don't know what's holding it up. Maybe they just don't want to do it while the current arc in the manga is what it is to have a certain character in it. But I don't know. I think Chainsaw Man is probably in the same boat of there's no Chainsaw Man here either, which is really crazy because Chainsaw Man was like crazy popular. Yeah, there's also not, like, Spy Family, which is really popular. A lot of them, there's not really any, like, they're not leaning into any of the new stuff yet, really, it seems. No, they seem to do, like, except for Demon Slayer. But that's, like, new relative. Well, Demon Slayer is... Old at this point. Not old, but, yeah. But, boy, do they lean into it fucking hard. 
Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, they leaned into it crazy hard. There are how... so many fucking Demon Slayer units. There are a lot of Demon Slayer units. I think there's Demon Slayer units for dudes. I think I, I've said it before. I was surprised that there is a female Muzan. Because I do not remember him going female at all. A do you remember who? that? Uh, female uh, Muzan, the, the villain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember when he... That's when he kills the lower moons. That's right. You know what? I'm being, when I read that, I did not realize he had turned into himself into a woman. Yeah, he was in a woman. And he was a woman, like, woman mode in the, the kimono. And he killed all the lower moons. Why? He said he didn't need him anymore. <laughs> well, I know why he killed him. I was like, why, why was he a woman? That, I don't know. Because he, uh, he went from, like, Michael Jackson to woman to back to Michael Jackson later. I think someone said to explain to me he was in hiding. I was like, from fucking what? He was underground. Who? He was with people who knew him. <laughs> who yeah, was he hiding like a from? Magic castle. Listen, if he wants to, listen, if his, if he actually just wanted to be a woman and he felt like a woman, I'll respect to move on. I'll, I'll gladly respect his decision. But in terms <laughs> of the manga, I was extremely confused as to why. And in some cases, I was like, I didn't even realize that he was a woman during this. I just thought that he was wearing a kimono. <laughs> No, because he had like the the he had a much thinner face and he had like lipstick and stuff on. Yeah, again, that 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 just fits the aesthetic of what he was kind of <laughs> going with in my life. <laughs> That's true. That's what he was just kind of rocking. Yeah, that kind of made sense to me in a lot of ways. Um, I guess to be fair, I, at that point in Demon Slayer, how can I really tell if you're a woman if you're not rocking out with your boobs out? Yeah, that's true. He Which just is he was way too conservative for a for a Demon Slayer woman. Exactly. He's actually the most conservative if you look at all of them. <laughs> As opposed that might to be the... true. Yeah, because even uh, Nezuko has her adult form, which goes yeah. which yeah, violates yes. all form of uh, everything. <laughs> that makes me. That has to remind me that Demon Slayer was written by a woman. It's something that's always in the back of my mind. Whenever I think about that, it's like yeah. Damn, that, well, Shinobu's not too bad. Her chest is humongous, though. Shinobu's? Look at it again, my dude. Look at this. You Am know, I me... wrong about her? I thought she was like. Let me show you the, this. The generic flat girl. Look at this sprite. They can't even hide it in the sprite. Oh yeah. Okay, you're right. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, then who's the generic flat girl? Is it is it Tanjiro's girlfriend? Yes, uh, the, oh, the, the sister okay. of Shinobi. This, okay, yeah. Canal. She's the one who's actually flat chested. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> She's the only one in the family, I think, because I think the sister is also rocking. The one that gets bit. ate by uh, Doma? Yeah, she's yeah. she's rocking. Yeah, she's rocking pretty good. I think at this point we have to stop before we just start talking about specific chest sizes for another <laughs> 20 minutes, because that's honestly... Let's go back to the harm talk, because I will gladly... Talk, <laughs> we may as well just talk about that if we're going to be talking about that. Um, thank you, everyone, for being with us for another Japuti Jams. It's always really fun to talk about Shonen stuff together. Uh, again, if you made it this far, you should leave a like. We should always ask these at the beginning, but I always forget... And honestly, now with the way YouTube is, I think that actively fucks me over. But again, I don't really care because I enjoy yeah, making fine. these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, YouTube be doing that shit sometimes. Yeah, YouTube be doing that, especially with me where it's like, uh, sometimes you, the, YouTube must be very confused with me because they're like, sometimes you cover a gotcha and it's extremely popular and we're like, we're happy for you. But then other times you just release Yoshi story and <laughs> uh, like three people watch that. You know what's actually really funny, which is maybe the funniest fucking thing ever? I think um, for last month, Paper Mario was my number one uh, most ad revenue uh, video, and only 20 people watched it. What? <laughs> yeah, so the Paper because Paper Mario videos are so long, I forgot to... Um, I think in, it was one of the few times where I forgot to... I let, like... Usually I set the ads of every video. Oh, you let it auto set the ad? I let it auto set the ad. And oh, I looked God. Back, I so there like, was one every like two minutes? Yeah. And I was like, holy shit. Who watched all this and just was like, <laughs> okay. Because whoever did it was a fucking legend because they got me like one of my most. It was like the best of one for that month over like actual gotcha <laughs> videos with hundreds of views in them. Because usually I only do like one or two depending on the length. I'm not one of those dudes who's really like looking into going like all right, this needs to be 5,000 ads because it's eight minutes long. I don't really like doing that. If you do that, it's because it's your living, then I give you all the power for you because it's your job. But it's not mine, so I don't have to do that. 
But I was looking right. at Paper Mario going like, God damn, the one dedicated dude who put up with all that shit has made Paper Mario number one. <laughs> so YouTube must have also been like, dude, what the fuck yeah, is Yeah, YouTube going was on? like, what the fuck? This doesn't make any sense. This video literally got 900 and it's just like two cents lower than the Paper Mario one with two with 20 views. <laughs> What are you doing with your life? <laughs> That's actually what I want for my YouTube rewind is for them to have a sit down talk with me saying like, dude, we need to talk about your channel real quick. <laughs> we need to go over this. Yeah, because there's some shit in here that I'm just like, we need to talk about. And I don't know if you know this, but let's go. But yeah. That's it for Chimpooty Jams, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us. We will see you on the next one whenever it may happen. And happy polling out there. For Bye, everybody. Said. Peace out. Uh, get whatever you're chasing. Yes. Chase whoever you want. Go for it.